Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers figure review and today I'm going to be going back into my collection because we're going to be looking at the Transformers The Last Night, no, Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime. Now before I begin I do want to preface that this was kind of, this figure fell victim to me being in a phase of customizing figures via painting them. So there's going to be a lot of things on here which you can already see some of, I'm sure. But there's going to be a lot of things on here that is not the original toy, but was painted on very horribly, mind you, by my good self. So just keep that in mind that if you see anything that you're just like, hey, I don't remember him having this, um, that is why I did some paint work on here in both modes and it, it looks really shitty, but I can't do anything about it and I can't get rid of this guy now because he is painted. But let us continue. <clears throat> so here he is in truck mode. I've long since, you know, recycled his packaging. It's been a long ass time, of course. But, you know, if I gotta say one thing about this figure is that it really nails the truck mode. Uh, he does have rubber. Does he have rubber tires? Yeah, rubber tires. Yeah, it's not something you get very often nowadays, is it? Here's the front, of course. Get the Autobot logo there. And the flames, of course the silver detailing on the side was my doing, the blue windows was also my doing. Coming up the top here, again, you're seeing a lot of paint detail that was my doing, so just ignore that. Nice chrome for this light bar thing. Come around to here. <clears throat> There's a nice look at the side, again, just... Ignore any of the painted by me detail. Because <laughs> it's not part of the figure. But it's parts that I felt was necessary. <laughs> uh, and we'll come to the back here. Of course, got the chrome smokestacks there. And all that. So, very. Very nice truck mode. That is <clears throat> really the one thing that it has going for it is a really nice truck mode. So, but with that out of the way, oh wait, before I forget, there is the bottom of the figure. You can basically see um, his legs and arms in there. Uh, but yeah, now I don't have. I mean, I have them, but I don't know where they are, is his weapons, um, so, but when you do have them, the shield can plug onto the trailer hitch for storage, and then the sword plugs on the bottom of him for storage, so, yeah. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the truck mode, so, well, I will get this guy transformed. Okay, and here we have our Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime in his robot mode, and yeah, he's a tall one. Um, and again, if you see any detail that shouldn't be there, it was probably from me painting it. So let's get nice and close here. Very nice head, head design, though. I gotta give it that. And all this is like, the chest here is metallic painted. That's original, I didn't do that. Um, but you know, I, what I did was just trying to get this gray painted silver kind of thing. Did that a bit on the arms as well. And the hand here. Of course he has the um, ports here, that's where the Shield would plug into on either arm, of course. And yeah, coming down here. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Of course, the feet are, you know, 
the way they are. But yeah, of course, also the biggest drawback with this guy is, of course, the backpack. It, uh, there's not really much you can do about it, unfortunately. It's like that symptom of, well, the, the truck mode looks great, but it really, 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 really doesn't do favors for the, uh, the robot mode here, so. And I'm just going to say it because you're probably thinking it, though. Because of the way that the transformation works... This guy has a lot of hindrances in his articulation. So bringing in AOE Prime here, the head can just barely go up, and I mean just barely. It can go down a bit, it can only look about eh, that far left and right, which is sad, really sad, really, really sad. Um, if we get our pieces here out of the way, the arms will ratchet uh, up to about there. Well, only there. And they will come up to there. Again, I'm sure you could get it farther if you move the shoulder pads out of the way, and then that makes the chest come unplugged if you do that. Uh, the elbow, <coughs> you get Oh, there again, it's all ratcheted. Uh, the, ha the thumb of the hand moves, that's about it because that's how the sword would plug in, which I don't have the sword on me at the moment. It is sitting in a bag somewhere. Um, you get nothing I'm guessing there, no, no waist rotation or anything, and his chest keeps coming unplugged. Of course, the largest symptoms of this design is the legs, because, like, especially here where you have the these pieces, you know, as, like, hip skirts, basically, so you basically have to get them out of the way to do much of anything, um, since they, it all kind of slides in behind it. So, uh, you can move that flap. The legs come pretty decently out, actually. Um, and also, if you're gonna pose this, you ain't moving these any any more outwards with the legs. The so legs can come out to there, which all things considered, not bad. Uh, they do rotate if you need them to, and you can of course bend the knee, and that is as far as the knee. Little bend. Uh, you do get some some ankle tiltage. That's pretty decent. Nothing at the toe. I mean, it does move, but that's more for transformation. So yeah, it's uh, not the best articulation, to be very honest with you. But, uh, yeah, that is our Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime here. It... I mean, I've had this guy for a while. Um, I just never did anything with him, like, video-wise. But, you know, I thought, hey, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video on this guy. Just because I can. Um, just to tell you all that if you're looking for a Knight Optimus Prime look elsewhere because this one sucks it sucks i mean it it sucks you know if it were me and i could find one for a good price i would probably try to find one of the voyagers from the last night um that has to be better it, it just has to be um i mean unless you know studio series is gonna do a version of this prime sometime um but who knows but all in all save your money because this guy not worth it. it 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 it's worth it if you like the truck but in that same sense because his truck mode is about the same size as my 
124 scale um, 2007 movie Bumblebee from Jada Toys, the die cast one. So it's about the same size, so in that sense, just go buy Jada Toys 124 scale Last Night Optimus Prime uh, die cast, you know, of the truck mode. If you really want a stellar looking truck mode of this. Like, the, you, you don't need this guy. You know, and having his weapons isn't going to be any better. The weapons suck as well, so. Um, oh, one thing I, I did forget. When you're in this mode, um, this this bit here is still where the sword can. Like, if you don't want the sword on him, you can still store it in the vehicle mode like that. You think you just drop it down in. Uh, shield doesn't really get in the storage, so if you don't want the shield on, you just kind of have to toss her to the side, so. But anyway, that has been my look at the Age of Extinction Leader Class Optimus Prime. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.